So there are things that many people have not understood even up to now. Why it is important to pray for the nations. Why it is important to pray for the countries in our generation. The countries that exist. Why it is important to pray for our authorities. And today, share this prayer. Share this prayer with somebody. They might be in the United States right now. They might be outside the United States. They might be in England, wherever they are. Share this prayer with them. I am specifically praying for the country called United States of America. I'm praying for the United States of America today. I am praying for the grace of God to overshadow that country, for the grace of God to touch and to improve it to the level that God himself wants to take it. I am praying for the leadership. I'm praying for Donald Trump, the president of America. I'm praying for all the senators, all the leaders there, the states, the 50 states in the United States. I am praying for them. I am declaring over that nation. As I pray today, I rise in prayer. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that country, may the angels of the Lord be upon it to help it and assist it in pursuing and fulfilling its purpose on earth. Join me, all my partners from all over the world, wherever you are. Let us pray for this great country. Let us pray for this great nation. Pray, 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 pray. He is Lord in that nation. God remains God. Our Christian ethos will remain Christian ethos in that, in that land. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord who seated on the throne is about to do great and mighty things. We are praying and interceding. Every leader, every politician, we declare over their life. May their life be touched in the name of Jesus. I pray for the United States of America today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every citizen in that country, every person in that country, all their policies in that country, I pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord.